Hey guys, Adam Fennig with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Today, we're gonna to talk all things John Deere Rate Control 2000. We've got a J&M applicator here behind me, and we're gonna plug in all these cables to the Raven components, the flow meter, the control valve, and the section valves, and we're gonna run this thing with a Rate Control 2000. We'll jump up in the cab and show you how. So from your home screen, you're gonna find your John Deere Rate Control 2000 button. That's pretty easy to do. Uh, this is your run screen. Um, of course, it's got your sections, your uh, gallons in the actual tank. You can change your tank capacity. This one has 1,600 gallons. We're gonna do a full refill on it. So now I've got 1,600 gallon left and uh, yeah, basically I'm gonna run through how to operate this thing. So right here's your home screen, your rate set up. You can change your rates right here on the home screen. And so basically what you can do is you can then scroll through what rates you wanna do as you're driving through the field. If you all of a sudden wanna to change to a uh, different rate, you can simply do so by uh, changing your your rate over there on, on the rate setup page. This is your manual and auto. Um, there's those preset rates. You can just click as you're driving through the field. There's your target, 66, 55. So if you're coming through a good spot or a bad spot, you can punch that individually. But really the first thing you're gonna have to do when you uh, plug this thing in is you're gonna have to create the whole profile Okay, so you start by naming the piece of equipment. This one is a J&M, and so if I can find my symbols, I'm gonna label it. Um, I'm just gonna name it J&M. And it is 40 feet, so next. And we pick our application mode. Of course, this is just a liquid, um, liquid product and you knit list how many sections this one is a three section the widths of them are my sections are going to be 165 divided by 12 13.75 feet and 12.5 feet and 13.75. Um, height switch, I've got one of them. I've got a flow return. I do not have an agitator valve. Control valve type. On this particular J&M, it is a PWM close. There's a PWM valve on the hydraulic pump that controls my rate. You can also have a standard valve. That's pretty common. Um, and so I'm gonna pick my PWM close. Valve response rate is 50 and dead bands two. I'm gonna leave that there for now. Coil frequency 60, high and low limit is really uh, far apart. My low limit's one, high is 100. And my startup, I'm gonna put it at 15, but that's something I'm gonna play with later too. <clears throat> Flow meter calibration on this is actually 1460 and I get that from the tag on the flow meter. It also says that it's 1460 per 10 gallons. So you need to pay attention to your flow meter when you're getting this number. Tank capacity, 1600. It's gonna give me an alarm at 200 gallons when I've got it left. Here's my rate values. Everything looks good there. Again, I can change that on the home page too. It's gonna alarm me when I am 10% off of rate. Uh, the price of inputs, uh, we probably need to lower that a little bit. Minimum flow rate, I leave that pretty low. So now I've got that profile changed. It's a J&M liquid fertilizer tool that's 40 feet wide. So then we'll go to settings, and this is where I can set my PWM valve and uh, you know, that, that's a setup version there. We already kind of did it on the back side. You can set up your tank, which we already did that as well. Um, there's some setup things in here you can play with. Um, 
alarms. That's basically when it will yell at you if you're off target. And basically, here's your rates. So here's our home screen again. Um, obviously, we're not putting out any product right now, so nothing says anything. From there, I'm going to go to diagnostics. This is a very important page for me um, as I'm setting these up. <clears throat> what I like to go to is I will calibrate my, my PWM limits. And what that'll do is that'll dial in my PWM. Right now, when you first get started with a John Deere rate controller or any rate controller with a PWM, it'll take that pump a little while to find its limits. And under this uh, diagnostics and tests and calibrate PWM limits tab, it allows you to do that and it's really handy to do before you go to the field. You can also do some of these other tests. You can do a section control test where you turn on and off certain sections and it should correlate with that back there on the machine. I'll also do a nozzle flow check. <clears throat> and what you can do is you put in a speed and a rate and uh, it will allow you to run and you can actually uh, calculate how much you should catch per nozzle or per coulter. So that's pretty handy too. So from there, that's really pretty much it on the rate controller side of things. Um, obviously my master switch is off right now and nothing's running, but that's how the John Deere rate controller works. The big thing is doing your setup of your implement. You can uh, create a new profile. You can, uh, um, you can edit the one you've got. If you're using this rate controller for multiple things, you would do a, a new one and create a new profile in there. So you can remove them. And uh, of course, they are extremely uh, versatile on what you can do with them. So that's what we're doing today. Talking about the John Deere Ray Controller 2000 hooked up to a John Deere 2630 on a liquid fertilizer applicator. Thanks for tuning in.